Hello, it's been about three months since I moved to New York and as you can probably tell from the background, if you watched the last video, things look a little different around here. I thought it would be fun to show like an updated room tour and kind of like explain how I settled into the room given that it's so tiny. In typical New York fashion, Manhattan fashion, it's 10 by 7 foot, so yeah, it's crazy, um, but I feel like I've gotten to the point where it feels like livable and I'm excited to be in this space. So yeah, I'm just going to walk through my room and link a lot of things um, if you're also living in a tight space or you're just wanting to update your room with some really practical, um, pretty inexpensive items. So yeah, let's get into it. For some background, this is the room that I moved into, what it looked like at the start. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a challenge, but it was fun to decorate. Okay, so this is when you walk into my room, you kind of have this like long hallway. And as you can see, there's already a lot going on. <laughs> um, but I do have this hallway closet. My building is so, um old so like these wood doors you know it's like it's not the vibe but this closet provides a lot of good space so i have up top like towels and like laundry detergent things like that and at the bottom is where i keep my dirty clothes and i have a pair of boots like tall rain boots back there um but yeah when i moved i didn't realize how many dresses i had this is crazy but yeah, this is where I keep all my dresses and like skirts and things like that because as you'll see in my room, they don't fit like lengthwise. But I guess it makes it easy to know where all my stuff is um, and keep organized. So going into the room now, on the door, I have this coat rack, if you can even see like over the door hanging thing, where I keep all my winter coats. Here we come around so you can see like jackets, coats. Honestly, it's overwhelming. Like I have such a tiny space to walk through here, but it works. And I think I'm gonna be putting some of that under my bed after it gets to be like June because I won't need all of this anymore, but it all fits. And I feel like it's good to see, I'll zoom out a little bit. Like, I don't know, that practically. And then I just close the door and it all fits inside here. So the first thing in the room, I have this trash can, which I guess is nice to have. I always like having a trash can in my room, um, but I have this tall shoe rack. So everything in my room is from Amazon and I put this together and I mean, it's pretty obvious like what the purpose is, but yeah, I feel like it holds all my shoes. I am a material girl, so I have a lot of shoes and even more under my bed. But yeah, it works for me. And then behind that, kind of like flush against the wall, I have this really great Amazon shelf um, and it has like a top rack, as you can see. Like I somehow made enough space in here to where I have more than enough storage space. Um, but this is where I hang all of my purses, hats, masks, scarves, um, you name it, tote bags, work bags, um, and then some like random stuff down there. So this is, I think my favorite purchase of the room because it like blends in to the wall. I have this big brick wall um, here, but yeah, I just love it. So kind of looking out and to the rest of the room, I have this large non-working fireplace, which kind of just takes up space, but I mean, it's kind of fun as like an accent wall. I have this like collection of different prints and like postcards. I really didn't know what to do with this space, but for now that works and it was all free. So, and then I have this little um, Amazon like dresser where I put like, PJs, socks and underwear, bras, whatever. Um, and it's really great for holding all of that because I don't have space in here for a dresser. But yeah, and then I have some photos, things like that. Um, next I have this rug. It's a four by six or three by five, I can't remember. And this is like the amount of space I have to walk through. Like it's pretty tight in here, but it works. Um, and then actually this was in the room, like someone left it who lived here before. 
and I put it right here and it fits perfectly. And I have some books, like this is my little accessory station. I kind of honestly love how it turned out. I feel like I have like perfumes, like everything. It just came out looking very cute and like chic, honestly. So yeah, I just have um, some random like little knickknack stuff up here and like earrings, little books, necklaces, bracelets, perfumes, even like a little photo. And then down here like hair accessories. Um, so yeah, I really love this little part of the room. And then this is where I spend most of my time in my room. So somehow I was able to fit a corner desk in here and it has been so nice. So I work from home a few days of the week and then I go into the office. So this gives me space to like have a working area in my room. Um, and just like a little vanity area and more storage. So against the wall, I have some prints because there's so much white in here. I feel like I really wanted to brighten it up with color. I have these like verses on the wall um, and then just some stuff like on the desk. All my makeup is here. I've accumulated a lot more makeup since moving here because I work in the beauty industry and I've gotten so many products from my job like to test and then just like to have and like this is all lipstick lipstick is my favorite so anyway and then I have my personal laptop work laptop um, I also really love this chair one of my favorite Amazon purchases that's also from Amazon my desk um, it's like velvety I also got the pillow from Amazon and it like ties in the rug and the rest of the room as you'll see and it has storage underneath the desk. Like, I honestly, I can fit so much in this area. And then I have this shelf that I can't figure out how to put on the brick wall yet. So any suggestions for that are welcomed. It might involve a power tool, and I just don't know how to do that. But yeah, so this is like the left side of the room. And then here in the center is me, but we have, um, this really large window which actually has a fire escape but it's like raining outside otherwise I would go outside um, and then I have these like curtains with like pullbacks that are really cute with these um, flower things and then a hack that I came up with I guess is like I have these closed at night obviously for like privacy whatever because I'm on the third floor but I hide all my blankets and sweatshirts behind these curtains so that's worked pretty well for me. So going into this corner now, we have a small version of this over here that I have like workout gear, whatever in, and then this bucket sits on top of like hair products. And then I have this two tiered clothing rack. So this is where the majority of my clothing sits and some other purses, <laughs> lol. Um, yeah, I have like tops up here and then jackets underneath. And it's worked out pretty well, honestly. Um, and I feel like it's nice to like see my clothing, um, but also like have it tucked away in the corner. And then I have a little like map of New York over there. And then here's my bed. It's a twin size bed. Um, and I just have like this silky duvet. Um, and then I've recycled a lot of my decor from my college room, but a lot of it was like New York themed, so it works. And then the funniest thing in this room is this like six inch wide dresser. I kid you not. I found this on Amazon for like 40 bucks and it fits perfectly. Um, and it just like sits on the corner of the rug. And I have so many books here and like nightstand essentials, this lamp that I had my dad ship me from home. So yeah, it's so funny, but it's like, if I bump into it, this whole thing could knock over at any point in time. I kind of feel like I live in like a house of cards, like a, a deck of cards. Like, like if I bump into one thing in here, it all just like goes to the ground. And then under the bed, it's not glamorous at all, but I have pants and this little thing, and then a similar one behind it with sweaters. And then I have slippers here, and then like a suitcase and storage and my water bottle. Um, yeah, and that is pretty much the room. I feel like, like I said, I've gotten pretty settled in here and I spent a while trying to figure out like what a practical way was to store all of my things. So it honestly took about three months to get to this point, 
but yeah, it's been fun and I definitely want to start making more videos on here. You can kind of see the fire escape. Um, it's pretty cute, but yeah, I guess that's the update for now. Um, and if you have any questions about any of this, let me know or any like video ideas of like New York content, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on the room. And if you have, I guess, any suggestions, I can't fit anything else in here, but I'm always open to new ideas or let me know what your favorite little part of the room is. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see ya in the next video. Bye.